Now we're going to add our ABP, our panel, inside our JTAB pane. So JTB.addTab. And just put inside that ABP. Sorry, I'm getting an error here. Oh, yeah, you need the uh, the title of the uh, of the tab. So for this tab, the title of this tab is going to be Add Book. So we're going to say Add Book, comma. It takes in two parameters. Now that we have our tab pane, JTAB pane, we're going to add that to our J frame. So add J tab pane. And we're also going to set our default close operation to a J frame dot exit on close. And what this is going to do, this is a this set default operation is the operation that takes place when you hit the X button. Now it is very important to set this to jframe.exit on close so that your actu your application actually dies. If you don't have this line of code here, if you uh, if you click this, this might I mean this might uh, this might go away. You're not going to see it on the screen anymore. But in the background, it it might still be running. So that's why it's very important that you call, that you set the default operation whenever you're creating a JFrame. And we're gonna set the location. We're gonna set where uh, where this where this uh, where this JFrame pops up when we open it. And we're gonna set it to the center of our screen. And the way we do that is by calling set location relative to and we're going to put in null for the center null because this is our J frame this is our parent this is our root container so usually if you have if this container is inside another container you would you would say uh, this dot get um, get uh, get content pane or I'm not sure but yeah this thing doesn't have a parent so just set it to null since it doesn't have a parent it's just gonna pop up on the center of our screen now let me actually show you guys a nice way of another way of programming this is uh, this is a style of programming that uh, you're gonna get used to when you're programming in Python you always say, uh, always type in this. And so instead of typing this and not knowing whether you're spelling it correctly, type in this and then dot set, and it's going to give you all the methods and all the uh, attributes of the library interface class and the class that, ex that it extends, in this case, JFrame. So remember, this method is from the JFrame class. We're going to call this, and we're going to see that method set default. So just by typing in five letters, we can just press Enter, and then Eclipse will do the rest for us. So that's that's a really uh, that's a really nice way of programming. Makes it. That's how I usually program, but for this tutorial, I'm not going to do that. Why? Uh, no reason. And also for the set location, you can do the same thing. This dot set location right here. You know, you can choose instead of typing from scratch and typing from scratch and not knowing if you're spelling it correctly or not.
or it's also not giving you any options. We're also gonna this we're also gonna set the size to to 320 by 460 320 width and 460 height these are in pixels and we're gonna set resizable to false now usually when you're creating a GUI you usually don't know what the sizes are gonna be you're usually gonna have to uh, run run your application check out the GUI and then by trial and error find the right size if you're gonna make it unresizable since I've already created it I already know what size I want that uh, that makes the best uh, makes the best looking GUI now you can also say pack and what this is gonna do is this it's it's gonna fit it's automatically gonna change the size to fit to show everything inside our frame so make it not too uh, just make it fit not too big and not too small but I like to set my own size so I'm just gonna do set my own size manually instead of doing it uh, automatically and uh, for now this is all we need for now so save your library interface.java and now we're gonna create our main method and our main method as I said already is gonna be our controller in our controller library system so go to your library system and declare a library interface object private library interface object and we're gonna call this screen come on all right it takes it takes in a title um, the title it takes in is the title of our frame meaning this this is this is what this is for so we're gonna put in library system remember this library interface constructor takes in the title and this title is gonna be sorry about that go back to your library interface and pass this title on to the super constructor there you go and then uh, go on to our library system the controller and just put it put in whatever the title of the application you want to be you want it to be so I'm gonna call a library system again import our library interface we need to import it because our library interface is in a different package <clears throat> all right and for now we're just gonna set the screen to visible screen our library interface we're just gonna show it the way we do that is called set visible to true <clears throat> oh man again I made a mistake about telling you guys that our main method our public static void main is gonna be inside our controller no it is not it's not the main method is not gonna be inside our controller library system it's actually gonna be I'm actually gonna put it outside outside the controller outside the model and the view I'm gonna put it in this uh, in this package so go on over to your uh, to your root package and in my case it's this and I'm gonna create a new class and all this class is gonna do is gonna create an instance of our controller of our library system controller 